Hey guys, welcome to the Serena Teapot in Genshin Impact. Now this is going to be like a small beginner's guide because some people might not understand too much about how the teapot works or how to maximise your coins or how it, how it works. So I'm going to make a small guide to talk about the teapot and what things you can do, how to get materials, how to do a lot of other things. I'm fairly new to the teapot myself, I've only got like this small little like encampment going on over here. And I'm only like trust bank free, so I've not done too much yet. But like, that's why I started it uh, only like a couple of days ago. But I've learned quite a bit, and I'm going to share the knowledge that I've gained with, with everyone else here. So if you guys do enjoy today's little guide and you want to support me, you can always feel free to drop me with a sub because only 4.8% of which videos are subscribed. And if you're new or returning to the channel, we do we do get to make guys, news, discussions, gameplay streams, anything in between. And I'm trying to do YouTube full time. And if you want to help me support that goal, you can always feel free to leave me with a sub. But you don't have to, obviously. But let's get into it. So. The main thing that you're going to see when you when you first join your teapot is you're going to have like a house and you can upgrade it. You upgrade for placing on furnishings, but obviously how do we get furnishings? Well, if we talk to Tubby over here, Maybe you're not we have several options. We've got, we've got obviously our trust rank. Our trust rank is what allows us to upgrade for not only Tubby, but the land around us, how much we can craft. Uh, the amount of coins per hour is also related to trust rank in a way, but not really. You can also switch to realm style, which you can't do until you're trust rank 8. You can create furnishing. Realm Depot is where you can spend the coins you got on blueprints or hedges or anything in between. And of course, you can, you can learn more about Tubby. But let's go through trust rank first. So, as you can see, I've not played for a few hours. So, we have 168 coins. Now, obviously, this will go up some into my uh, coin collection over here. And you can see my trust rank is free with 420A. Um, rank points and I'm in the Emerald Peak and my highest adeptal energy is 3400. Now what does it end up what does adeptal energy mean? So the more furnishings you place down, the more like the more energy you get output. So basically as you can see inside I've got quite a few points. Outside I've not got as much, but what I'm trying to say is the more things you place down, the high higher energy go you you, know, you get and the more energy you get, the more realm currency you generate so for example if i get another thousand points i can i get another four coins per hour which is quite a bit if you think about it however the big thing i want to say here is don't just place things willy-nilly like for example if i if i if i go into placement mode over here what well, you know what, what i'm saying is just you know you don't need to go, go to rocks and just you know put put down you know put down rocks everywhere you know just just to raise your raise your points Obviously, you know, it does. It makes your island a bit cluttered. I mean, my island is pretty cluttered as it is right now. But hey, I'm, I'm enjoying. You know, I'm just really enjoying the system. But so, I, personally, I wouldn't recommend just placing stuff down everywhere because it makes your island a bit messy, and you know, it's not really as epic. You also have like this is a bit like the adventure book. Okay, so I've, I have actually finished uh, round two of it. But as you can see, you get you get like these different. Uh, Blueprints for doing different things like reaching trust rank three gets you a little house blueprint. Placing sets gives you like a bunch of bookshelves. Placing rocks gives you like bookshelves. You know, are made for transferring a lot of uh, things will increase your your thing, like the adventure rank system. Well, not adventure rank, but like the adventures handbook. Where many things come to so d these give you blueprints, and of course we're just going to claim this here. Oh yeah, a dog. Nice. That's that's really nice. Oh, actually, I've, I've not unlocked anything in this one here yet, but. But that, but that gets on to another point, so you claim all your blueprints in your inventory, like so. And then you can talk to Tubby again, and what we can do now is we can we can look at the furniture creation tab. So these are all the blueprints that we have unlocked as of now, which doesn't seem like much, I'm going to be honest. But what you can do is you can take materials, so for example, this bookshelf requires fur wood. And I'll get onto how to get wood and all that in a minute because I do have a map I can show you guys. Or we can take this and you can you can just craft you can craft items. So for example, last night I made a couple of fur cases, a couple of fur bookshelves. It's pretty nice. And to make to make like dyes and fabrics. For fabric, you need silk flowers. You can find those obviously near the Wang Shu Inn on the floor. Red dye, you need sun siestas. Yellow dye, you need berries, and blue dye of mints. I, I mean, if you hoard a lot like me, you probably have a lot of this material already, so that's completely fine. Now, of course, you do need a bit of white iron chunks for a few different things, and main thing is wood and bamboo. So, if I find a map, I'll put it on the on the screen. But 
the main way to get wood is you just, well, like, like Minecraft, but not like Minecraft at all, is you just hit the tree a few times. You can get up to four pieces of wood per tree, and the, the quickest way to farm this would be to take a either a sword user or a polearm user and just go to town with do for your spam normal attacks. I mean, you could use jangling. Jangling would be probably the quickest to farm these materials, but you know it doesn't really matter about the efficiency here. You're just gonna get the wood and you're gonna continue. There, it's some really easy spots to get wood. So, for example, fir wood, you can get it. You can get it near the dragon spine base camp. You can get pine wood in dragon spine easily. You can get. You can get the um, the cedar wood in in a uh, monster. You can get the if I remember correctly, you can get the uh, birch wood. I think it's somewhere in. I think I can't really get birch wood. I'll put it on the screen. And then I remember you can get you can get bamboo and leeway, and then sand bearer is also in leeway near um, near the village and towards the western side of Dragon Spine. Now. When it comes to crafting things as well, remember that you only get trust rank XP for the first time you create things. So, for example, if I make this leeway house, which, I mean, hey, let's let's make a leeway house for the sake of this. Rest in peace, my pine wood. You get, I'll get 60 trust rank XP. Now, another thing to note as well is these vials of speed. So this will take me 13 hours and 59 minutes to craft. And if you invite your friends to the realm. They can assist you and speed up your creation time of these objects. However, I'm not going to speed it up here because the main thing to take away from speeding up is that with the, my current rank, so I'm getting, so I'm getting a, a few, like I'm getting 12 coins an hour. If we go to the Realm Depot, you can buy five vials a day, and they're 10 coins each. So if you if you're like rank three and getting 12 coins an hour, you only need to wait about four hours to be able to get all of these vials of, of adept or speed. So you, you, you really don't need to use them like carefully. You'll be able to get quite a few a day, and that's pretty cool. But you can also buy realm treasures. So if you if you're tired of just if you've bought out all of these, which I mean, hey, it'll take a while for you to buy all these out. You can you can also buy some treasures. So you can buy resin. I mean, resin is something that I need given my uh, my stash of uh, fragile, but you can buy resin. You can also buy mystic enhancement or heroes wits Mora, and these two are artifact XP materials. So you don't need to farm artifacts if you can just buy these artifact XP materials and just apply them to your current artifacts and get a bunch of XP for it. So that's pretty good. And these furnishings you can place down right away when you buy them. They reset every day. So for example, I'm going to like three in the afternoon, so it will reset in twelve hours. So Again, you can buy as many of these as you want, basically, and these are blueprints, so when you learn them, you can just craft them whenever you want to, and just make them down. For example, I bought the house earlier. And when it comes to placement mode, obviously, there are other things you can do as well, like, you, like mine's on, like, regular rotation. Like, you, you can you, you can put it on, like, free rotation or for the last rotation. Mine's into my, also, I've set my island to daytime. And also, you can put down the grid. I personally don't use the grid too much because I like to just put things down freely. But for example, when it comes to placing down this house, for, for example, I'm just going to like freestyle this, this one a bit down. But you can just like put it down like that. And see, that doesn't look too bad. Granted, that was not the front. That wasn't. I don't think that was the front door. But you know, there we go. That that is the front door. Put that down. So obviously, you can see like this cube. You have, you can't have anything in that area. That being said, as well, tree like trees also conform to that. And and as I unlock these blueprints, you can unlock outdoor sets. So if you guys don't really like you know putting down things manually, you can put furniture in your inventory and just place down little uh, prefabs of it. You can also put down animals as well. So for example, I could, I could put down this little dog. And no, you can't kill them to get meat before anyone asks. See, I'll, I'll put down this little dog here. And then you can put down a couple shrubs, so I might put down a, a like, what, maybe, maybe like one or two like little shrubs or trees outside the building. Oh, it's a, lot, it's a very long bamboo tree, but you know, that would be fine. I've just unlocked those, I guess. And obviously you can't, like, I can't put that in the range there, so I'm just going to put maybe like a bamboo tree around, around the back of that building. As you can see, like it's very very simple to do things. Also, there is loads. Take so out. So I'm guessing my island already is getting pretty loaded as I'm putting down more and more things. But 
That being said, you know, that, that's just the outside. You, there's also the inside of the building. So, for example, this is... Like, I've only been able to place down outside materials. If we go into the inside of my little house over here... So it's like your mansion. I've not put anything in the rooms yet, but... I've just been filling the main hall. So as you can see, like, the inside of mine is, is pretty bare. Like, I've got, I've got, like, maybe, like, a couple of chairs. I've got, like, a little calligraphy area over here. As you see, these rooms are fairly empty. I'm going to furnish them at some point. But the main thing about this as well is that the load on this one is pretty light because of not being enough materials. But, again, you can put down prefabs. You can also... I uh, don't, don't know what I've done there. But you can put on a little... Oh, that's, a, that's a big lamp, actually. I don't know where I'm going to put that. That's a massive lamp. What I thought it was. I mean, you could just slap it on like that, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, you can, but, like, you, you can just, you know, it's something that you have fun with. You can just, like, I know I don't have the grid on, but, for example, I'm going to make this, like, kind of symmetrical. I mean, I can't, I don't think I can, actually. Okay, I'll, maybe, maybe I'll move this to the side a bit. But let me know down below, like, are you guys enjoying this housing system? Because I, I'm actually really having, like, a fun time with this. Okay, why can't I, okay, so... I need to move this a bit. Oh, that that also being said, I do have the exact same setup on that side as well. So this will be like the, the, like the most broken symmetrical system I've ever seen. You know what, I'll fix it later, but you, you get you get the gist. You get the gist of like how this all works. And then obviously you can switch to your little rooms and place stuff in there. And also you can place stuff upstairs as well. But I've been even putting things in the main hall of my building, so... So yeah, that's basically like a short guide on like how to use the Sarah teapot. There's also, oh, I've got to mention as well, there's a travelling merchant that comes every one or two weeks. He's also pretty cool. He, I mean, by everyone, I mean, by he comes on the weekend. And he's going to be at the corner of the island, so it's a bit, it's a bit of a walk, but a bit, he's a bit of the way out. I mean, I wish he was next to Tubby, because it would have been cute to see these two little teapots next to each other. But here's Chubby, the travelling teapot salesman. The one before. So he sells. Of course, you can sell out. I, I let one of my uh, subscribers buy the Black Hound because they wanted it. But he, he comes bearing rare goods. So everyone's island has different kinds of like materials and objects on this. So, for example, what my chubby sells would not be the same as your chubby, you know? So this is like where the social element comes in. You've got to go to other people's islands and ask to see what they're. T traveling teapot sells, and then you'll ask them nicely if you want if, it, if they'll let you buy it. So, yeah, there's also that. So, if, if you've got any questions about the uh, the little teapot system, let me know down below. But I think I've explained a lot of like things. It's just place down things, get woods, get you know get materials, put down things, have a fun time, level up your trust rank, get coins, buy more things. You know, put down like more. You don't need to worry about your adepts or like vials. You can just level them up. <laughs> And uh, the, the only downside, the only thing I don't like about the system is that you can't pet the dog. But, you know, that's fine. Anyway, I'm blue. you guys enjoying the system? I hope, I mean, I hope you guys are, because it's a lot of fun. But, different video is going to be a little, you know, a little guide today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all for another video soon. Have a good day, everyone.